Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the AMX 5100, the Tier 8 French Heavy Tank. Although calling it a heavy tank is basically only in regards to its weight. Um, it's a fast, mobile tank, but it has very poor armor, and it comes with an autoloader. So even though technically it's a heavy tank, it doesn't play like a heavy tank. You know, you grind through the French heavies, and you go through the low tiers, you get up to the R tier 7. I mean, the armor aren't, isn't great on French heavies, but they're not particularly fast tanks. The armor is okay, and they've got, you know, okay guns, kind of derpy guns, depending on what type of uh, what type of gun you decide to mount on the tanks and uh, then you hit tier 8 and you get this um, and gone is your armor <laughs> this tank has no armor um, I mean it can bounce shots I mean if players are silly enough to fire at your hull uh, sometimes um, you can bounce I mean not very often the hull armor isn't great but you can bounce with the hull um, the, no armor on the turret I mean if you're facing French autoloaders go for the turret much much easier to pen less chance of uh, bouncing um, if a tank angles or French tank angles then yeah maybe their tracks can eat the shots maybe their hull can bounce a shot or two um, don't take the risk just go for the turret uh, but yeah this is the first kind of it took me a while to get used to this because technically it's a heavy tank and when I play heavy tanks I kind of like to be on the front line I like to play them aggressively and even when um, I'm top tier you know I've always said if you're in a heavy tank that isn't great but it's uh, maybe even a support tank or a sniper, but you're top tier heavy. You've got to go and do the job of top tier heavy. Um, that's always been my philosophy, at least until I got to play the AMX 5100, because it physically, it physically can't do the heavy tank role. It doesn't have the armor. Uh, but it may have the gun. The gun is great. It's the first of the French heavy tanks with an autoloader, and it's a great gun. It's 100 millimeter, 232 millimeters of penetration, which is good, and 300 damage. And because you've got a magazine with six shots, that means you can do 1800 damage. 1800 damage if you get average rolls and all your shots pen. Um, so yeah, I mean it's a great gun. Um, usually miss my first shot. The gun soft gun stats aren't great. But uh, it's a good gun. Uh, it's a fast, maneuverable tank, but it has, as I said, it has no armor. So I had to kind of learn how to play it or relearn how to play it because uh, I was playing it far too aggressively. And you can't do that because you have no armor, but also because it's an autoloader. And if you play it aggressively and you're too far forward and you fire all your shots and you've got to go through that 40 second reload, you've got to get away. You've got to go somewhere safe in order to reload. And if you're on the front lines, usually you can't do that you can't retreat you can't run away to reload you're just going to be shot when you try to leave your position so uh, it took me a while to get used to this uh, my first 20 or 30 games in this tank were very very average or even poor I had a poor win rate for my first 20 games or so simply because I didn't know how to play the tank um, since then I've picked up a few more ace tankers um, finished the grind actually finished the grind on this recently on the uh, times two all day event um, so yeah I managed to get this done and dusted I picked up a few ace tankers along the way but uh, this is the first one this is the first one on the tank so uh, this is the one that you're going to get to see on the channel. Uh, we are here on Erlenberg, um, and as I say, I started off hating this tank and ended up loving it. I really do enjoy this tank now that I've actually finished the grind. Um, so it took me a long time to get used to it, but uh, once I did, I, yeah, I like this tank. As you can see, we're accelerating, we're up to 40 kilometers an hour already. Uh, we're here on Erlenberg, as I say, it's a tier 9 game, so I'm a tier 8 in a tier 9 game. Three tier 9s on either side, and no RT, which is always wonderful to see when you're driving a lightly armored tank. But uh, yeah, lessons I've learned from playing this tank is play it, you can play near the front line, but not on the front line play it as a support tank. Make sure that you always have a get out position. In other words, when you empty your clip or empty your magazine that you've got a way of uh, getting out of the tank, um, running away to reload, or getting out of position and running away to reload. But uh, Erlenberg, just heading over here to the 9-0 lines, and as I say, six shots in the uh, magazine. And when you unload, you can do potentially 1,800 damage with average rolls. So it's a devastating autoloader. And uh, it was well worth the grind. It was well worth the grind. I've enjoyed the AMX 5100 so much. 
Um, it was worth grinding through the BDR and the Arl and the rest of them. But um, moving up, just looking for targets of opportunity. I've been spotted. Um, I fall back and not too far. As I say, there's no arty. 251 got absolutely wrecked, and here's my first victim at Tiger 2. He's got 1600 hit points, so we're gonna move up. Gun depression not fantastic, but you can make it work, and you can get shots down onto the upper glacis. Second shot tracks him. Now I'm shooting through a bush, so he can't actually see me, and we're just emptying out here. Look at this. Got one shot left, and we take him out. So 1300 damage with that magazine. Um, and while reloading, another lesson I was learning while playing this tank is while you're reloading, use that time to uh, relocate. If you're under no pressure, you don't have to fall back. While you're reloading, just go for a uh, relocate. And uh, maybe by the time you've relocated, you're going to be in a position to start doing damage. Now, most of the enemy teams seem to have gone down the 1-2 lines. I'm very, very aware of this, but um, sitting here waiting for the reload, I think it's about 45, 46 seconds, I can't remember. Unfortunately, replays don't show you the reload. But, uh, okay, we've won the 9-0 lines. Looks like the enemy team are going to win the 1-2 lines. Everyone over there is asking for help, and I'm deciding to relocate. So I'm heading down into the middle, maybe to get shots on the rear of the tanks on the 1-2 lines as they advance. So I've got a full magazine and no one, no one to shoot with it. Okay. Yeah, alright. So again, looking for victims, just relocating, wondering if I've got shots on an IS-3 behind me, but nope, he's gone down into the riverbed. So uh, again, moving forward. Oh, T-37. So... Not much to aim at, just the rear of his tank through the house, and that was a silly shot. That was really, really stupid shot. You really don't waste don't waste shots like that when you're in an autoloader, guys, because every shot is important. To have to go through that reload, just wasting a shot like that means that I might not be able to uh, one-clip a tank, but... Uh, it looks as if the enemy team are coming back. I was expecting the enemy team to advance towards our cap, but very few have. Um, and first shot, that was a terrible shot by me, but... Oh, bounce on the side of a T-44, don't even track him. Track him that time for zero damage, and just that reload. But uh, yeah, really, really bad, really, really bad second clip. Only got one shot left, put it into the T-34, so out of six shots, we only managed to hit two. And it has taken me up to 1800 damage, but now I've got to go through this excruciating long reload again. And we're being capped, so I've still got about 20-25 seconds to reload. We're being capped. According to the minimap, the KV-4 was the only tank that was spotted down there. Now I am on a mission at the moment. I'm on the uh, cap an enemy base or uh, defend an enemy base mission. And I need to uh, get at least at least 30, although at the time I thought it was 40. I need to get 30 cap defense points in order to complete this mission. And not only do I have to get 30 defense points, but I also need to win the game and survive. But I find I'm waiting because I thought it was 40. I wait till he gets to 40 and then reset him. Take a blind shot. I've only got four shots left in my magazine. But uh, now that that part of the mission is done, I need to... Uh, can you see it here? Oh, you can, yeah. I need to win the battle, and I need to do 3k damage. So, uh, KV-4 hadn't spotted me right up till then. I was blind firing through bushes. But uh, he moves up, I get one into his engine, trying to set him on fire. He starts to angle, get another one in. Now he's at too much of an angle, can't pen him, so go for the drive wheel to track him. Get one more shot in, and there we go. So, second or third magazine on the tank. Did about uh, did about a thousand, maybe twelve hundred damage. That takes me up to three thousand damage. So reset the cap, then did three thousand damage. So that's the second part of the mission done. And now all I need to do is win the battle. Just need to win, but it's not going to be easy because it's three versus five here. Remember, it's a tier nine game. We still have a VK four five zero two or four five zero two B. They have an object seven zero four, who's a good player. 
Uh, so I'm using the speed mobility. Remember, this thing plays more like a medium tank, so using the speed mobility to completely flank around. Tiger, T-34, and T-43 were all spotted in the middle, so I'm taking a wide angle around. Our VK and T-44 are sticking together, but I'm going to try and use the speed of this tank. We're doing 45 kilometers an hour long here to try and flank, try to get to the rear of enemy tanks. I've got the T-44 and VK backing me up. So just moving up, trying to spot enemy tanks. Decide to go up this side of the uh, castle. Okay, tanks being spotted in the middle. And the Object 704 is my priority here. He is a tier 9 tank, so get yeah, one shot in, average roll, 300 damage, and now he's in cover and there's nothing I can do. And a T-34 appears to my left. Okay, so there's the first damage I've taken this game. So T-34, he's a one-hit kill, he's just fired. I could have gone up to shoot him, but I'm worried about that Object 704. So there's a T-43 and a 704 in the middle who could easily, easily wreck my entire day. So I decide, no, no, rather than going for the T-34, even though he was an easy kill, he just fired. Didn't want to risk getting hit, so I'll pull up here. And then I'm just going to sit up here, see if we can spot anything, because I know that there was a Tiger 1 last spotted up here as well. But no sign of him, so I'm wondering, is he sitting exactly in the same place? I've got five shots in my magazine. I know the T-34 is a one-hit kill. We've lost our third remaining tank, or last remaining tank, other than the VK. He's under pressure. I need to kill these guys. T-34, I think I've got him flanked, but nope. His turret traverse was just way too quick. He rolls incredibly high. He gets 534 with an HE da uh, shell. So T-34 knew what he was doing. He did very, very well. Penned me for 534. Uh, but we take him out. And now it's just a matter of focusing on what tanks. Our VK is still on a lot of health. So I just kind of want to support him. And this is where I start to get tunnel vision. Because I forget about the Tiger. The Tiger's behind me. But I focus on the object, kill the object, don't even see the tiger till he bounces on my rear. Lucky bounce, he wouldn't have killed me, but he's on low health, we turn around, shoot him. So a little bit of tunnel vision on my part, but we took out the object 704, that was the important one. So uh, two quick kills there, and now all of a sudden it's 2v2. The VK takes out the IS-6. I'm on five kills. I'm on 4k damage. I've got one shot left in my magazine. I know the T-43 is on low health, so I don't want to reload. Going for Top Gun, looking for Top Gun. So one shot left, low health T-43. No shots. Got to keep going. And again, you get to see the speed and mobility of this tank. It's just, it's a great tank. I really, really fell in love with it. Kind of disliked it a little bit when I first started playing it till I got used to it. And now that I've finally gotten used to playing the tank, I enjoy it immensely. Great for wrapping up at the end of game. So last shot in the magazine, T-43, got his rear, take him out for kill number six. And there's the first ace tanker in the AMX 5100. And Heavy Tank 7 mission finished as well. So in addition to the Ace, we also picked up Sniper and Top Gun. Sniper, not unsurprising in this tank because you do have to play it slightly back from the front line, play it as a support tank, make sure there's always a fallback position so you can, once you've unloaded your magazine, you can get back and uh, get into a safe position to reload. And while you're reloading and there's no pressure, relocate. Uh, it took me a long time to get used to this tank, quite a few games, but... Uh, yeah, I didn't like it when I first started playing it, found it quite frustrating, but towards the end, I have really, really started to enjoy it. 1443 XP uh, earned, 4445 damage done, 6 kills, very happy with this. As I say, first ace in the tank, uh, 24 shots fired, 21 hits. So the gun, to be honest, is not the most accurate. It's not great at shooting on the move, and if you fire before being fully aimed, uh, it can be quite frustrating. So I usually, usually when I'm playing this tank, I miss my first shot and then hit all the others. So um, yeah, not the most accurate of guns, but once you get used to it, it's okay. Um, and of the 21 hits, we pen 17. Penetration on the gun is great. I haven't had to fire, don't think I've had to fire a single premium clip or premium magazine 
ever in this tank. I don't ever remember switching to premium. Uh, even in tier 10 games, I find the tank is good enough to aim for weak spots. It's good enough to get to the sides and rear of enemy tanks. So uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I really am enjoying it. Was happy with the damage. Uh, got uh, seven or seven damage, six destroyed, 667 assistance damage, and 60 base defense points. So I reset the KV-4 to complete the mission on 40 defense points, and then somehow managed to pick up another 20. Um, and I earned, th I earned 31,000 credits with a premium account. So um, yeah, it's a decent money maker if you've got big games. And uh, 2,000 XP on a times five event left me on 10,000 or nearly 11,000 XP. Again, a big chunk or a lot of the way towards the uh, tier nine, the uh, AMX 5120. Uh, so yeah, games like this, big XP games, I managed to grind through the AMX 5100 pretty quickly. But uh, as I say, wasn't quite enjoying it when I first started playing it, but by the time I'd finished the grind, I really do like this tank. I think it's worth, I really do think it's worth suffering all the way up through the French heavies in order to get the uh, later French heavy tanks. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Takes a whole different discipline, whole different way of playing them, but uh, I think they're very effective and a lot of fun. So uh, anyhow, first ace tanker in the AMX 5100. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.